Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with another new product opening today. I do have one hobby box here of 2021 Upper Deck Artifact Hockey. This product actually did release on Wednesday. I was under the assumption it was coming out on Thursday uh, because that is when our order did come in. Southern Hobby shipped it to us on Tuesday, so I guess they got that out of daylight. I was just figuring since they shipped on a Tuesday when it arrives on Thursday, that usually means it gets here on release date. But we did have this come in a little bit late, but that's okay. I'm ready to check it out. I've never actually opened up hobby artifacts before. I've only ever opened up Retail Blasters, so I'm excited to see what's in here. Each box does have three hits, including Autograph Memorabilia or Orem cards, and also you get one Rookie Redemption per box on average. So I'm excited to ready and ready to go on ahead and check it out. Let's do that. Acquired Tiny Knife. All right, let's go. Bye. Snapping us into the corner. Do have, I believe, Patrick Kane on the front here. Four cards per pack, just eight packs per box. All right, let's go on ahead, get on into 2021 Artifacts Hockey. We do actually have some of these boxes scheduled for personal breaks for tomorrow night. We do still have on our website as well, if you are interested in getting any boxes for yourself. All right, let's go on ahead, open it on up here. Pack number one, this is a chunky pack. Let's see. I'm excited to check out Hobby Artifacts. Alrighty. Oh, I like the design. Hey, we have the Autograph Rookie Redemption here, X. Alright. X. Usually you can check the checklist and see who it is. I'm not sure if the checklist gets updated after you send in the redemptions or beforehand. I'm actually going to go ahead and look. I'm curious. Probably should have thought to bring up Cardboard Connection beforehand, but Artifacts. Let's check it out. 2021 Artifacts. Set checklist. Oh, it says best price on the Cardboard Connection. It says Hobby Box's best price, $150, but we have ours for $124.99. All right, let's see. Base Rookie Redemptions. All right. Rookie Auto Redemptions. Oh, X is a tier two, 10. So it's number 10, so it's one in 720 packs. It says to be determined. All right, so I guess they update the checklist once they come back from being redeemed and people start saying, hey, I got this for the X. That is a tier two, however, rookie autograph redemption. Very cool. 10. I wonder if it's gonna be like the 10th overall draft pick. I wonder if that's how it works, I don't know. All right, here we go, next pack here. This pack does not want to open. All right, we have a green parallel coming up. It is Braden Holt B25 of 99 for the Capitals. Let's get that sleeved up. Do like green. Green is my favorite color. Nope, we have a wild card rookie redemption. So we've had two redemptions. Interesting. There's number 215 here. I believe the checklist still said to be determined on those as well. 215, yep, just says wild card. Interesting, interesting. All right. Up oh, we have Jordan Biddington, number 95 out of 499, Jordan Biddington. Get you sleeved up too, you're numbered. Oh, we have red. Anze Kopitar, 128 out of 399. That looks good in red. What's this? We have a dual relic rookie key for bellows for the Islanders. That is number 384 out of 599. Dual relic. This fitness 75 point holder. And two packs remain in this box of artifacts. 
We have a bronze, Zach Parisi for the Wild, 28 out of 2.99. And last pack. Oh, we have, that's cool, artifacts. Lord Stanley Legacy Relics of the 2004, right? Look at the flag. Oh, you have one right up there. But Martin St. Louis Relic for, from 2004 when we won the Stanley Cup. Very nice Marty Relic here. That's our last hit of the box. That is nice. I like that. All right, so we did get two Relics in Autograph and our Rookie Redemption for our three hits. These were the three hits here. Let me actually... Do you fit in a 75 point as well? Marty, you look pretty skinny. Marty, the skinny cards, looks like the relics here, if they're not like big chunky patch relics, because I've had, I've seen, and I personally own some big chunky relics from Artifacts. Um, if it's not one of those, it looks like your base relic size is going to be 75 point. All we have at the moment are the rookie card holders, uh, which I don't particularly like the way the rookie card ones look, but like, you know, that's what we have. We got to work with it. But these two relics here, we just saw last pack, the St. Louis, which was unnumbered. And then before it, we had that dual relic of Kiefer Bellows out of $5.99 for the Islanders. We also had 10 here, Autograph Rookie Redemption for our autograph. I don't think you're guaranteed an auto per box. You're guaranteed three from Orem cards, autographs, and relics. So I'm not guaranteed an auto per box, but we did get one there. Don't know who it is, but it is a redemption. Then we had the Wild Card Rookie Redemption, number 215. Then for our legends, I believe, I believe this is the legends high numbers. We have Jordan Bennington, numbered out of 499. And we also have this red parallel Kopitar out of 399. And then for regular base parallels, we had a green and a bronze. Holtby green out of 99 and the bronze Parisi out of 299. And that'll do it here for this product preview of Artifact Hockey. Now I'm sure you guys have seen Artifacts openings over the past couple days, which I always like trying to get videos out as soon as I can, but when the product's not here, I can't do that for you guys, unfortunately. But I'm really liking the way the cards look. I like the design. Artifacts usually a set I like in general. Uh, usually they're more like cool toned, like white cards, but I do like the warm brown they have. Reminds me of like old parchment. Like in, like, vi like in, like, I don't know, kind of like video games, like stuff with castles and whatnot, and like telling the story. I don't know. That's just what it reminds me of. And I think it's good for artifacts, the line where you're thinking like, wow, artifacts, like an actual artifact to have like that kind of old, old coloring. I really like that change from last year's artifacts, which I think again, because I usually buy like a retail blaster or two of artifacts every year uh, where not not dark colored cards. But I, I'm liking artifacts. I'm excited to open up more this weekend. So if you guys want to see more artifacts, make sure you stay tuned for that live stream tomorrow night starting at 7.45 p.m. on January 23rd. Always here every Saturday night with a live personal break. So if you ever want to drop by on a Saturday, feel free. And if you want to make sure not to miss anything, if you hit that subscribe button, you'll get notifications when the channel is live. But if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comment to me. Leave those down below. Let me know your thoughts on artifacts. I like it, but I want to know what you guys think. So let me know your thoughts down below. And as I just said, if you don't want to miss a thing from me, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, I do have one more new product opening coming up today, and then I'll have some personal breaks. The new product is a Weiss Schwartz a trading card game. Uh, but we do have more hockey coming in the form of five boxes of Synergy for Joshua W. once again. So if you're craving more hockey openings, we'll have that for you later on today. So make sure to stay tuned. That is it for me here. Before I go, do also have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you guys, for going above and beyond with your support here of the channel. We really do appreciate it. Big thanks to our five Black Label fans. We have Anden, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Pooh Bear, and Steven Olivo. And to our Gem Mint fans, we do have nine. At Anthony Basileo, D. Vaughn, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatra Geek, House Style 13, and Jake Ryan O.C., uh, Joe Howell, Michael C., and Stephen Bly. Thank you so much, you guys, for your above and beyond support. I, when I started doing Gem Mint fans, I almost started going off the list of Black Label fans once again. Sorry for that stumble. That is it for me here on Hockey. New products. Like I said, we do have Synergy coming up later, so it's... Um, I caught myself. I was like, that's it for hockey. That is not it for hockey. That's it for new sports products, but more videos coming up today. So make sure to stay tuned. But thank you for watching everyone. Take care, stay safe, and hope to catch you in the next video. Bye.